<laughs> so I was put up for adoption because, you know, my mother was 15 years old, couldn't raise me. I was given to a lovely Jewish couple who couldn't have a baby uh, because they never had sex. <laughs> Apparently you can't get pregnant sucking on the credit card. <laughs> At this point, my parents decided they wished they'd adopted the freeway instead. <laughs> and they needed to do something about this. They needed to change me. So I heard the six words no Jew wants to hear. You're being sent to a camp. <laughs> I did not want to go. I did everything I could to get sent home. I swallowed rocks. I ate just yes foot power. I swallowed an entire bottle of Adderall. I made it a concentration camp. <laughs> Now, my, how stupid is it to send a boy, a young gay boy, to a camp to make him straight, where he showers in a room with eight naked guys all at the same time? <laughs> These are the same guys that beat me up all day. It was like some homoerotic snuff film. I would starve Schindler's fist. <laughs> and these boys were so hot, they didn't need nothing. <laughs> this was no ordinary camp. It was a sports camp. I'm not an athlete. Jews are not athletic. I don't swim. I don't jump. I don't run. You want to see it you run? Nominate them for Congress. <laughs> the Nazis chase us. Did we run? Fuck no. We hit in the end and wrote a bestseller. This little old lady dies. Goes straight to heaven. She's at the pearly gates. And there's St. Peter and goes, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to wait a second. Someone got here just before you. It'll just be a minute. Said, oh, all right. So she's waiting. And she hears these horrible noises. <laughs> Screw holes in your head to put the halo on. Oh God, it's quick. It'll be just a minute. All right. And then she has more sound. <laughs> What's that? What's that? So, oh no! Don't worry, man. No, no. It's it's. Don't worry. They had to screw holes in your back to hang the wings. She goes, this. This sounds horrible. I'm getting out of here. I'd rather go to hell. So, oh no, no. You don't want to go to hell. They'll rape and sodomize you. Because that may be, honey, but I got the holes for that. Do you know how to tell the difference between an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? <laughs> Taste. <laughs> now, I can say faggot. I've been called faggot my whole life. Where are you going, faggot? Why are you running so fast, faggot? I'm late for school, mom. <laughs> 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 Listen, being gay is not easy. Now it's becoming more difficult. They add a new letter every week. LGBT, LQ, LMNOP, OMG. It is longer than my grinder password. <laughs> we have more unique characters than an Andy Warhol orgy. <laughs> when I first came out, there were two gay labels. Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> now, when I, when I first came out, I was skinny. I was a little twink. I had a 29 inch waist. At 50, I blew up. Now, I'm fat now, but I still identify as skinny. I'm trans fat. <laughs> Did anybody go to Gay Pride? Gay Pride was amazing. I'm loud, I'm proud, I'm exhausted. <laughs>young and hot and shirtless. Can you imagine me in a leather harness? Could you imagine me in a leather harness? I bet you, you're imagining it right now, aren't you? I'm imagining you in one too. This is fantastic. You may be cutting this hair a little short. No. I tried women. I went down on a girl once. Had an asthma attack and almost died. <laughs> Alright, I got one more dick joke, but it's too long. Thanks! <laughs>